Hi, my name is Pavel and Walter Covey, and in my event is Sports and Entertainment Marketing Operations. And through this event, I made it to ICDC. In this video, I'm going to share three tips that helped me in this event. My first tip is to create a rough outline of what you want to cover in your paper. To do this, go to the DECA website and then go to Competitive Events. Here, you can find the rubric for Sports and Entertainment Marketing Operations. In the rubric, go through each required section and plan out what you want to write for each of these sections. For example, for section 3, the section asks you to describe the research methods used in the study, and it provides two subsections. On your outline, just jot down ideas to the subsections. No need to go fully into detail as it's just an outline and it's here just to help you brainstorm and plan out your paper. This will not only make your paper easier to write, but it will also help you determine whether your idea is good or not. If you're not able to fill out a section, it means you need to add more to your idea. My second tip is to make sure you're following the rubric. For your presentation, you have 15 minutes to cover the details of your paper. Everything the judge will be grading you on is described on the rubric, so make sure you're covering every aspect listed, otherwise you will lose a huge chunk of points unnecessarily. Any additional factors that you added in your presentation to stand out from the competition should come secondary to the details on the rubric. My final tip is to limit the amount of words on your presentation. If you're using visual aids, keep, make sure to keep words to a minimum. If the visual aids have too many words, it will distract from the presentation itself. I suggest just having main ideas on the visual aids because the judge should not have to read through a bunch of text to understand what you're trying to communicate. They should be able to look at the visual aids and quickly understand its purpose. For example, when you're presenting the budget of your, of your plan, display only the key numbers on your visual aids and elaborate on the significance of these numbers through your own presentation. The significant the details of your presentation should be coming from you as a presenter, not your visual aids. So that wraps up my three tips that help you in this event.